Morning team, it's Saturday morning, it's the first game of the season, I've got my kit ready, I'm very excited. And of course, thanks to Chris for pointing out, pointing me into the right direction with a few bits of kit. So some new shoes, new pads, new helmet, really looking forward, of course, to be back, should have forgotten that. Uh, so really looking forward to using those, and of course, we'll be giving you a bit of a heads up on how I get on with them and little idiosyncrasies. One of the little thoughts I was, I don't think we've told you, you may well have done. Anyway. Here we go. So what I'm going to do to help with these spikes, and if this one's more for the end of the season, because they rust into the thread throughout the year when you play in wet conditions, what we're going to do is just put a little bit of Vaseline on the inside of the, of the thread of the spike and then tighten it up as you would, wear it as normal. And what you'll do at the end of the season when the spikes are worn down, you're going to find that you'll be able to get these off which of course means you can prolong the life of your shoes, which for all of us is really important. Okay, so I've got all my stuff in. Very happy with my bottom section there. Here I go to the top section, which is the other really important thing that I wanted to show you. And that is that I can get all my clothes in. So for me, that was one of the key reasons why I wanted to go for a big weaving bag um, rather than one of the duffels had lots of compliance in. So looking forward to this. All zips up. I think the zips are really good, which is another important aspect of the bag. Um, I haven't had to work hard at all to get this, to get them to go around. Um, same again. Here we go. Got everything in place. Happy days. Everything seems to have worked out well. I'm ready for my first game. Just walking in, found my spot in the dressing room. Well, not really, is it? But I thought we'd better give you a bit of a review of all the bits of kit we've got to look at from our review and upgrade of my kit bag. So first up, we had the bag. Uh, two things that I wanted from the bag were room to put my clothes and then room to put my kit. Now I've found that my clothes do all fit in and they're quite comfy. Uh, they all fit and, it, and it's really good and it works out really well. I've got my sunnies in there, got my sun hats, um, got my, my hats as well. The one thing I've had to do with this is at the end of the game when you've got sweaty kit, I don't want to put sweaty kit in with nice clean kit. So what I have been doing is taking an extra bag and just sticking all my sweaty kit in there and then going home and washing it. Um, so that was one little sort of addition to what I found. Uh, the bat box at the bottom is brilliant. I'm not even going to show you that because it works really well. Um, and the other section again is really good. It's very big uh, and there's lots of stuff in there. So you're looking at helmet, you've got pads, I've got my wash bag, two pairs of gloves, a catcher's mitt, thigh pads, two pairs of shoes. So as you can see, I've still got lots of room in there and I could really stretch that if I wanted to. I've really enjoyed the fact that the zips are good and I think they're really high quality. So at the moment I'm enjoying that. Difference between wheeling it and carrying, not been too difficult. The only time is when you've got to go up some stairs or you've got to go around over a fence or round a fence at some grounds, which I've had to so far. You've got to carry it, but actually carrying it was all right too. So, so far, so good. An upgrade on the bag and I think we're going all right. right. My New Balance Heritage pads, I've been hit on the pads once or twice, no big issues at all. They're looking really good, they're very comfortable. Um, just to give you the old flash of the New Balance to show you that I'm not telling, I've not kept the old ones. Uh, yeah, I like these, but they've gone really well and they're comfy to wear and I can run between the wickets in them. <laughs> Except I can't run very fast. So I thought I'd better come into the batting section for or our cricket lanes, net lanes really, um, to have a little review of the helmet. I, this has been really comfortable. Um, it does fit a long way down the back of the head. You do notice it. One thing I have noticed as I'm running in the helmet is that I'm actually hitting the top of my head on top of the helmet there. So I'm gonna get myself a little bit of sponge and put that in there. Or I'm gonna have a chat with Chris and he's gonna to talk to me about potentially increasing the size of that um, front sort of sweatband just to see if that makes a bit of a difference too. Obviously I've got to say it because this conforms to the regulations and the viewing area is smaller than my previous helmet I do notice that but over time you do get used to it 
Um, so I would say again, and I batted a couple of times in it and I felt quite comfortable and confident. It sits really well on the head. I'm gonna say it's really hot. The breathability in this is, is okay. I wouldn't say it's great, but it's okay. But in terms of being fitted and really well, for really good high levels of protection, yeah, that's really good, I like that. Right, the shoes. I had two pairs of shoes to, to talk about. First one, pimples, my warm-ups, um, pre-game getting to the ground, really comfortable, very trainer-like. You, I wouldn't say they are exactly like a trainer. I'd say that they, you know, the comfort levels are good, but they're not that super cushioning running trainer because they've got to allow you to go left and right. Um, and most running trainers are very good at helping you go forwards and supporting you forwards and back. Uh, I, all I would say is I think they're really good and they're really comfy. I haven't fielded in them yet outside of a little bit of warm up stuff. Um, yeah, I, I, th I think they're quite decent. Um, but the proof is in the pudding. You've got to keep using them and keep wearing them to find out exactly how good they are. But yeah, lots of protection, lots of good levels of support there. So see if my balancing skills are up to speed. Oh, not bad. Yep, doing okay. Yes, brilliant. Okay, so the other thing I've done here is I've got my spikes, checking that all of my spikes are in place, which has been really good. Really happy with those. Um, I've batted and bowled in these. I find these very comfortable. I found them very comfortable last year. They're doing exactly the same job, except slightly different on the lacing uh, structure here. Um, which I think we alluded to in the other video, which the basically I think the, the whole structure is slightly wider and not quite so close together. I do think that's a big difference and I do think that has helped make it a more comfortable shoe. Um, yeah, again, this one, it, like spikes, spikes are really a bit proof is in the pudding. You've got to wear them, you're going to get used to them and you've got to use them. But so far, so good. Really happy with these. Yeah, feeling good. Watching the frog box footage from our first league game. So I'm actually playing, I know, it's a miracle, and I'm opening the batting. Again, slight miracle. Um, I'm gonna talk you through how the kit, well, what I'm thinking with the kit, and also what I'm thinking in terms of how I'm playing, etc., uh, etc. Et so I think I'm about to go into my first ball, which is a bit nervy. Here we go. Right, facing up. Bowl is bowling around the wicket. Quite decent as well, so I could be in a bit of trouble. Eh? I haven't really got much going on in the old, in the old brain. Wandering, looks like I'm wandering around, having a bit of a fun, fun time. Here we go, first up. Oh, well bowled. Ball went about three meters from the bat. I've absolutely smashed that. <laughs> Good line in length, well played Rich. Here we go. Now, what, I wonder what happened to the second ball. I think, I think I got squirty and got some runs here. I'm hope, hoping I did. Little bat tap, here he comes. Oh yes, squirty. He's both a big in-swinger, and I, being a classy left-hander, have squirted that down to third man for four runs. <laughs> oh dear, poor bowler. That's really, um, really upsetting for him, isn't it? Poor lad. Anyway, I walk up the other end, smashing it out of the ground. Oh dear. Well, we'll move on a little bit. Right, here we go. Other, the other bowler, swinging the ball back in a little bit. Bowled a really good off-cutter. Um, and all I'm thinking, oh, you can see my nice shiny new shoes and my pads, you can see the old New Balance logos there. Oh, here he comes. Good bowling. Swings it back. Oh, back of the length. Look for a run, Rich. No. Okay, get back. Well done. Hopefully that's not the end of the over. It wasn't. I thought I was going to get off strike then, didn't I? Um, yeah, so there, oh, he goes up, has a little chat with his, oh, I had a little chat with my backing partner saying, sorry about that. I didn't mean to run. If you fancy it, we'll go next time. Bowler's sat patiently waiting. <laughs> Here he comes again. Bowling over the wicket, by the way. In swing. Oh, Rich lets that go. Bowls it wider the stumps. <sighs> Old Rich had have had a slacker at that. But not, but not new Rich. New Rich has got to let that go. Opening the batting. There was a lot of dot balls in this game, but then it was a wet wicket and we couldn't really hit it very far. What was interesting is I, f I did notice the helmet a little bit more on this occasion because it was first time wearing it in a game. Um, I played subsequent, oh, well bowled, good line and length, prodded to cover, well played Rich. So yeah, so I have played subsequently in the helmet and I actually just, it does, it has gotten easier and easier as well. So 
um, but I did notice it a little bit more on this occasion. The pads, I did not notice at all, which I kind of, I guess you kind of expect really. Um, they just fit really well, they're just comfortable to wear. Uh, and they've got, they offer good protection too, because I've been hit on them. All well bowled, uh, back of a length, just played that one straight back to the bowler. And that's the end of the over. Now, ladies and gents, that was a good ball. Swung it in, made that very difficult for me. I, of course, have now done a bit of gardening because I had to dig that one out in Swing in Yorker. I don't really know what all the fuss was about. I mean, they thought it was a good ball. I've just played it elegantly, you know? When you have a look at it, you'll, you'll see that, I'm sure. So, wanders back. He's bowled a couple of good balls here, and I think I'm about to do something I may regret. So, as I said, he bowled a good off cutter, and I've gone to try and play a bigger shot and got caught behind. The keeper's managed to get catch that one. Um, so, not a great option from me, that one has to be said. Probably should have just waited and let him bowl the good, let him bowl the good over, but alas, I did not do that. Um, so, yeah, all in all, a reasonable start. On, uh, on, on the first league game, and it was okay, but actually could have done better. Could have done better. Right, now I'm having a little bowl, far end, which means I look beautiful as I run up to the crease. Not really, but anyway. Here we go, first ball that we're noticing here. Oh, a little bit of shape to it, and just worked it to mid-wicket, no run. Very pleased with that, quite nice and tall, quite over it. Yeah, pleased, well bowled. First slips wave into the crowd, get ready, because there's going to be some action. And again, worked it to mid-wicket. Tell you what, I've I found a nice batter to bowl at here. He's just patted it to mid-wicket twice. Oh, yeah, captain's decided to move himself out to extra cover, get out the way, <laughs> disappear, as they say, disappear. Yeah. Oh, squirty, one run, no, for well fielded. Well done, good work. I tell you what, my bowling's are doing well, but it's more about the fielding, isn't it? This is not a good start. One more in the over, bowl three dot balls here, team. I'm doing well here. I wonder what happens next. I've got to be a run somewhere, hasn't there? No, oh, well bowled Rich. Played, well he's played a real flirty shot and missed, mistimed it to backward point. It dribbled, oh, never expected that. Right, back on again. Oh, oh, that was what a wonderful arm ball. If only I had some pace. <laughs> That's gone rapidly. Oh, I'm quite proud of that. That's shaped. A little bit of shape, officer. Nice. Like that. He spotted it all the way, by the way, the batter. Never, never in any doubt. Oh, hindly dived on the floor. Gets back up in instalments. Three hours later. Yeah, well played, Rich. One to mid on but you kind of knew that, didn't you, really? Yeah, just having a chat with the captain. Yeah, nearly got that skip, nearly. I dived, I did really well. Oh, captain's gone to first slip. Oh, maybe I instructed him to go there. Crikey, that was brave, wasn't it? Oh, that was a little tease ball. That was a teaser, he could have hit that for four, but he chose not to, which is a bit sad, because he could have nicked it to the kick, nicked it to slip too. Oh well, end of the over. This is my little Sunday game, T20. Uh, I have a little bat here. Now, by the way, I play one outrageously good shot here. I mean, I'm gonna say it's outrageously good because I'm, you know, that's me. Um, and, and, then I, and then I get run out because I'm not fast enough. But my only, my, my only crumb of comfort is it was the second to last ball of the game and it's gotta be done. And the other fresh batter was on strike and he was whacking it everywhere. So here we go, first ball. Bet you can't guess what I do in a T20, first ball. And it's a, oh, well bowled, dot ball. You'd never have picked that, would you? You just, you would not have picked that. He bowled a good ball and I just didn't play it. Here we go. So I've only got three balls. Oh, I'm practicing, oh, I practiced a straight drive there, team. I love it. Obviously anticipating another full delivery. I'm not sure why I'm anticipating anything here, really. Anyway, we're playing with an orange ball, just in case you noticed. Here we go. Oh, laced it, laced it over extra cover. Gower-esque, I'd like to say. Beautiful. Other batters looking at that going, that's four runs. I'm jogging up and down going, I hope I'll get that well enough. Oh, brilliant. Good standards. Bowler comes running in. Let's see what happens. Oh, he plays the most gorgeous little reverse. Little scampering too, just to let you know. I just jog that, by the way. That's experience. 
that one. Pure, unadulterated experience. Two to go in the over, ladies and gents. We all know what's going to happen next, don't we? I did tell you earlier. Be careful. Oh, it goes to mid-on too, so this should be quite interesting. See if I get in. Oh, he's whacked it straight down to mid-on. Look at Hindley scamper like a rabbit. Whew. Fielder picks it up and he fumbles it and he fumbles it. Oh, he's in. And I'll stumble again. Oh, have I done a hamstring? No, no, I'm all right. Just, oh, people are celebrating. Why are they celebrating? I got in, that was two, wasn't it? I made it. No. Have a little chat with the umpire. Umpire told me, I didn't get there in time, you're out. What a nice fella he is, isn't he? What a nice fella. Right, team. Well, we have given you a little bit of a rundown of the kit that I'm using. We've definitely given you some thoughts and ideas on how it's all going as, as sort of that season is progressing and it's just started. I really like the spikes and I really like the pads. That helmet's gonna take a little bit of adjusting too. Um, and I'm sort of figuring out how to use the bag and, and how to work it best for me and how it suits me. But everybody's gonna be doing it, aren't they? from all the club cricketers, young cricketers in the country to the old stages. We've all got a bag and we've all got kit. Um, hopefully you found this useful and you find all the tips and thoughts in there useful. Please do not laugh at my play too much or at least have a good giggle when I get out. Um, do leave us a little comment below if you enjoyed all that. Of course, thumbs up to the video and subscribe to our channel because we've got more stuff coming out. We look forward to seeing you soon. Please keep an eye out because we're going to keep you up to date with all the stuff that's going on. <laughs>